CadGen FireCAD is an AutoCAD compatible product. There are two versions. One version is a standalone. That is, we start with the AutoCAD OEM platform, which includes all of the AutoCAD commands, and then we add the FireCAD specific shop drawing producing commands to that platform. For owners of the existing versions of AutoCAD 2016 or higher, we do offer a plug-in version that functions exactly the same way. The first thing you'll notice when you open FireCAD is the FireCAD palette. The FireCAD palette is an essential focal point of using FireCAD. It provides three tabs and those tabs can be used for keeping track of the project information, for retrieving devices to place on the drawing, and for the circuits that we need to connect to the devices that we place on the drawing. This is a dockable palette, as we'll see next. The essence of FireCAD is the synchronization between two files. FireCAD depends on two files in any project. That is, a .atp file, which is a database, and at least one AutoCAD DWG file. Both files must be placed in the same folder. FireCAD synchronizes the data on the drawing with respect to the system that is defined, that is, the objects, their locations, their circuits, their connections, etc., and the database. When changes are made to the database, the drawing is updated. When changes are made to the drawing, the database is updated. Now we click the Create New Project icon, or if the ribbon is visible above, the Create New Project command. This causes the Project Creation Wizard to open. This section is where we connect to the FireCAD Online Master Database, which contains thousands of parts. When connecting to this database, we are going to transfer some of its content to the local ATP file. In order to do that, we must give our project a name. Any name is acceptable. The next thing we must do is to decide whether we're going to copy the entire database to our local folder or whether we're going to choose from templates the brands of equipment and components we're going to require for our project. In most cases, we're going to limit the amount of equipment we add to the local database to restrict the file size and to cause us to have to sort through less equipment when we're looking for system components. We're going to name this project Big Box Warehouse. After clicking the Browse button, we now navigate to the folder where we're going to store our ATP file and later our DWG file. There is no required name for this folder. We commonly use Working Folder, Project Folder, or any other name you wish to use to identify the location of your files. Now we're going to connect to the CADGEN Master Online Database. In the server name box, type in cadgen.database.windows.net exactly that way. You'll only have to do this the first time 
you log in. After that, the wizard will remember this setting. Now follow these instructions very carefully to make your first connection. In the authentication box, choose SQL Server Authentication from the choices that are provided you. The username is CG Admin. The password is the password shown on the right of this screen. And then you click the Connect button. If you fail to get a connection, click the little green circular arrows to the right of the word Connect. You will then connect. In this section, we are provided with templates. These are subsections of the Master Online Database so that we can choose only the parts we need for this project. When you choose from the templates, don't worry about missing something because if you fail to get all of the parts you need for your system, you can always go back and update Now you scroll through the list of templates and choose which ones you want. Here we choose Silent Night Fahrenheit and we choose System Sensor NAC Devices. Now click the button to create the project. We see the progress bar and now we have all the components we've selected in our local ATP file so that we can now move on to the next step. And now the synchronization of the ATP file with the DWG file. This very important next step is where we register the DWG file that we want to synchronize with the ATP file. The Project Drawings window opens. This dialog is where we can add or delete files, DWG files that is, that are to be synchronized with the ATP file and therefore be part of this project. The file called bigboxstore.dwg is now part of our project. This is where we can double click in the FireCAD palette to open the project DWG file. There are times when using something like a Google Drive or a Dropbox folder that the project will not open this way. In that case, simply use the AutoCAD file open command to open the file. For this example, we are using a template drawing that's already been prepared using an AutoCAD drawing of a big box warehouse floor plan. Any AutoCAD drawing can be used. If a plan does not exist, it can be created using the AutoCAD drawing tools, which is not part of this lesson. Drawing a floor plan is a separate lesson in this series. If you are not already familiar with AutoCAD, AutoCAD provides both a model space for drawing and paper spaces or layout tabs. For our purposes, we're going to be working in model space. If you are not familiar with the difference between model space and layout space, we recommend some basic AutoCAD lessons, which are freely available on the internet or from Autodesk's website. Because this AutoCAD drawing is a bid document and comes from another source, 
we are first going to have to convert the AutoCAD blocks that are provided to show us the desired equipment locations into the special blocks that FireCAD provides for the purpose of creating a shop drawing. We will now proceed to the next section to perform that task.